Hello aspirants I hope you are having a great day hope you are well prepared for the upcoming geoscientist uh, prelims exam and must be in your final, final lap of revision in this video we will discuss certain basics uh, but very important point which will help you to maximize your chances of being correct in the final paper of the prelims okay so with that let's go through some basics first thing first please remember that this video will only benefit you if you have already covered the syllabus once and have at least done one round of revision right because there is no magical method to help you correctly attempt the questions right you need to have certain pre existing knowledge of the topics and then you can use this uh, techniques that i'll talk to you now if that is clear to you first suggestion for improving your chances of correctly att attempting the questions is you should not presume the pattern of examination before entering the examination hall people will say thousand of things that last year paper was relatively easy this year will be tough or there are large number of vacancies cut off will be less nothing of these are of any relevance to you keep an open mind and your only goal should be to solve questions nothing other than that should be in your mind so be mentally prepared for it now after the examination starts the most important thing to keep in mind is that uh, please don't assume the paper to be difficult based on the initial 10 20 questions sequence of questions will be different in different sets so keep at it and please don't get anxious if there is a streak of questions that you are not being able to solve initially if you have prepared well and still finding it tough be assured that it's tough for everyone and you are not supposed to attempt all the questions in the paper right so please be patient when attempting questions Best thing in my opinion is to try to create a situation in your mind like you are solving mocks. Treat the paper like just another mock test and attempt questions with a very calm mind. Because too much seriousness in the examination can negatively affect you and your ability to recall things and you don't want that, right? So, <clears throat> please keep that in mind. Now while attempting questions, keep in mind that you have 2 hours for uh, uh 120 numbers of questions that means you have 1 minute for each question that is not not a very um, e uh, exorbitant time for a single question right so you must use it wisely from the beginning uh when you are in relatively fresh mental state i suggest jump directly to the sections where you are more comfortable uh for example if i were to attempt questions of gs that is the general studies i'll directly attempt the static subjects first like science polity history etc as there are uh, very less chances of surprise questions if i know it i get it right if i don't i leave it and move forward like that similarly you can attempt the geology paper as per your strength area right once you are done with that especially for geology paper try to solve the numerical answer type questions in the next phase because with initial traction of correct uh, correct questions you must be feeling comfortable uh, comfortable and confident by that time and this feelings should be leveraged properly so that your chances of miscalculation and all are minimized to a considerable extent next thing is if you see a question can't be solved within 30 seconds of reading the questions which is half of the time allotted for each question you must move forward you should not waste complete 1 minute time as you may want to come back to that question later right so please don't get stuck at a question if that's clear to you now let's talk about the approach for the questions you are not fully confident about now there is a lot of debate around elimination techniques techniques or as they say uh, educated guessing but i would say it's nothing but simple probability based probability based on which you can attempt a question even if you don't know the exact answer right for this to happen the prerequisite is that you must have some knowledge about the subject matter of the question so let's understand it through this simple table uh so if you don't have a, any clue about the options mentioned in the question simply the chances of getting it right is close to zero i would say in this case avoid attempting that question so you should mu you must not attempt that question and please don't rely on simple tukka baji it will not uh, it will only give you uh, negative marks and so please avoid doing that in that final paper now if you are successfully able to eliminate one option in that case there is 33% chances that you will get it right 
you should attempt these types of questions only if you are feeling that you are not able to cross the border line suppose in geology you have only attempted 40 questions out of 120 and you need another 20 at least in that case you should definitely take a chance so keep that in mind and if you can eliminate two options successfully from the question 50 percent chances are that the answer will be correct and in these type of question you should act in these types of questions should be attempted at all means this should not be left fearing negative marks right so please remember you should use these techniques only after attempting questions where you are confident so these are for the question that you are not very confident about so use that wisely <clears throat> now some final tips now uh, use this last week as your final lap of revision while revising please focus more in more on your strengths rather than your weaknesses because your goal should be to attempt as many correct questions as possible and that can come by reinforcing what you know well what you know already right but please remember in this final week don't add any new topic or chapter in your task list don't go for a panic study and don't um, uh, and um, study whatever you have done till now and don't burn yourself uh, before the exam right uh, UPSC has been constantly sending reminders now to appear on the examination venue well before scheduled uh, time for the biometrics so most probably this year it will be a computer based test so be mentally prepared for it so that you don't have to face any last time hurdles again uh, question may come in topic wise sequence so jump directly to the sections where you are more confident right so keep your keep your mind open and um, i would say believe firmly in your preparation treat it like just another exam and i know that you are going to crack it this time once you are done with your prelims take a week's gap and again start preparing for the mains in june good news is we are available for you at our off offline centers now at pune and we will soon be launching a dedicated mains oriented course both in on online and on offline mode which you can join to make sure you are clearing all stages of this examination this time i hope all of you do well in this prelims examination all the best for it and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much